Hey there everybody, I'm JT Wardle. Thanks for clicking on this video and watching us on the World Wide Web Internet thing. Hey, we've got story four, story four from Arizona Flying Circus. When I was a kid, I did dream of flying. I remember having actual dreams where I would fly up to the telephone pole and fly. And now with my paramotor, I'm flying just like I dreamed when I was a kid. You're Mike, right? Yeah. JT. Hi, it's Jeff, right? Yeah. yeah. JT. JT. JT Wardle. Yeah, they said they will take a boat all the way to Cuba. The two pink tutus. Okay, we're gonna sit in the car here a little bit. The wind is a little bit noisy out there. See if we can get to some better audio here. Let me tell you about the Arizona Flying Circus Story 4. All right, Story 4, fun, famous folks. There's four of them that we're gonna talk. There's more than that that we're at the Arizona Flying Circus. But we had Mo Sheldon, you know him, of the Air Paramo, Motown Airport, Arizona Flying Circus. There's Jeff Goen. He wrote the Paragliding Bible. He's a foot flyer online, U.S. Uh, Powered Paragliding Association president, aviation expert, all around aviation expert. Mike Robinson, he's the uh, owner of Blackhawk Paramotor and Velocity Wing Business uh, the Training Center there. He manufactures trikes and quads also. All things paramotor powered paragliding. We also met Jean-Francois Chabad. He's originally from France. He's got 6,000 mile paramotor adventure Facebook. You can find him there. Expert adventure flyer doing a, a loop around the southern USA border down to Florida all the way out to Cuba and Belize back through Mexico. Tons of other famous flyers. There was the Nick and Noah Rochetta. We had Scott Ritchie. He was on that pink little cloud wing. And there was that guy that uh, could do the infinity tumbles galore. Just kept spinning there up in the air. Excellent YouTube sensation, uh, Gabriel Brown or Black Griffin. A lot of fun, famous folks. This fly-in had a catered food event that was off the charge. So tasty, fresh, saucy, delicious. There he is. Yes. Woo that is so good, delicious. Just give me a little piece, though. It was so good. Lovely barbecue that was mouth slapping happiness. Oh man, that was good food. Look at this. We got the brisket. Barbecue sauce, green chili mac and cheese, and raspberry coleslaw, and beans with brisket. Oh man, it was a hot links there. That is delicious. Hey, did you see those flames? They turned magical, you know, into a flame dragon. Look and see if you can see the flame dragon. There was no CGI on that at all. It's all natural. See if you can see that dragon. And I even saw a fire horse running back at the end of the flame. <laughs> In 2019, Arizona Flying Circus was fantastical, fun, frenzied fly-in. Uh, good morning. You probably see pe seen people wear these crazy pins called Motown Maniacs. We have these crazy volunteers that do all kinds of crazy stuff. We built this statue. Put all the lights up. This is the ammo. <laughs> so it's kind of crazy seeing that thing go up in the air. 
I just can't help but wonder as tomorrow fades why this is Motown facilities were well managed and the great volunteers, thanks to those Motown maniacs, all of their help. Hey! Hey, hey. Jeff Gowen was uh, such a nice guy to meet. Friendly conversation, easy to talk to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeff is a brilliant paramotor flyer. Looking good. You're you know, just that was the home, Ozone huh? Viper 4 <laughs> wing, and I've heard that there's only six of those sold in the U.S. Um, the same wing that Jerry was uh, flying when he crashed uh, back in Story 1. I didn't know Jeff was going to be at the fly in. I just spotted this flyer kiting his wing down low. And, doing some incredible control and skills. And oh, I thought, beautiful. That's an excellent flyer. So I, I walked over there and he was uh, walking it across the runway. Oh, that's spot landing. Spot landing, yeah. <laughs> Good oh, job. too much fun. Yeah, loving it. Doing? Loving it. Super, I got up and uh, had some fun, but now we're just gonna tuck in and see if we get another window to go, to go up. Yeah, you mean this evening? Yeah. Yeah. Whenever, whenever it opens well, up. I, it's supposed to get up to about 13, I guess. Yeah. 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 But Sunday, Motown weather was uh, rainy and uh, in the low 40s, uh, but uh, it bumped up and averaged about 50 degree weather. No, I look well, you know, forecast. So, but it showed seven okay. in the morning, uh, you know, yeah. seven. So we'll, well I'll see. I'll probably fly in the morning and then head out. Yeah. 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 It's Jeff, right? Jeff. Yeah, JT. Salton Sea is an unofficial fly-in. It's the week before the Arizona Flying Circus, you know. Uh, many of the flyers do the two fly-ins back-to-back. Did you go to the Salton Sea? I didn't. No, I didn't take off enough work, so I thought, yeah. Work does sometimes get in the way, doesn't it? I know, I know. Yeah. Gotta make a living, but... Uh, I know. Or make less money. That's what I there, chose. There was some Utah flyers down at the Salton Sea. I saw them. Some Brad, yeah. Brad and... Uh, yeah. yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. And then the dune afterwards. It's really oh, a fun yeah. trip. I haven't done this in a number of years. Yeah. And uh, it was good to be able to do it. We flew the dune on both days we were there. Yeah. It was gorgeous. I know. Put I the know. sun down and a couple of guys brought it up. But I don't do cold. <laughs> this is, uh, people were complaining that this was cold. And, you know, I'm flying in 25 degree weather, yeah. wind, wind chill. And I'm like, yeah, yeah well, fingers get cold up there. Look at me. I've got... I've got a jacket on. <laughs> I've got a uh, flight suit, a full flight suit, insulated flight suit. Yeah. And a uh, t-shirt and an undershirt. Yeah, you're layered up. Even yeah. at work, um, I always uh, wear a sweater so that my cohort in the cockpit can run the temperature control like normal. Yeah. Like a normal human. Yeah. Well, you, you probably have less body fat and that's uh, that's chilling you down. It's a contributor, yeah. uh, although I have more than my face would suggest. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh. could, I could make do to use a little, to have a little less, but that's all right. I'll let you get uh, unbuckled there. It was nice to meet you, I'll talk to you again. Likewise, have a good one. Can I get some video of you? Of course. 
You're Mike, right? Yep. JT. Hi, JT. Love your videos. Thank you. For me, there's a lot to the psychology of why I spend my money on what I do and what I'm looking for. I'll definitely fly at the Blackhawk Ranch. As Mike says, it's the greatest fly-in in the West. It's held the first Thursday after April 15th, which is tax day every year. This year, uh, registration for us flyers was free. Yeah, I, That's I so cool. Thanks, Mike, Heidi, I noticed it because Mike G, and all the Blackhawk Ranch off. team. Uh -huh. And Mike Robinson is, is such a nice and helpful person. When I met him, he was a, a very good guy. A lot of plays, more than an eighth of an inch there. See? So, you got a screwdriver? Uh-huh. Give me that and we'll adjust that right now. You notice here, I'm, I'm not pulling it tight like this. I'm, I'm pushing it out so it's got a nice smooth curvature. Looking forward to flying Valley Springs, California. Find out other fun toys. Yay! I went with Nick and Noah Rochetta to go meet Jean-Francois and talk to him about his travels. Uh, Kai Gomez and his group. Oh, okay. So oh, yeah. that, 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 that's all I know. I don't know, you know, by the time I arrive, I even, even I, make I it him. all the way there. Yeah. You, you talked to him already? Yeah. Or just, uh, yeah. So I move in there in June. Oh, okay. Mm. Like, uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah. Nice. Yeah. For how long would you be there? Maybe one for, year. For one year. Yeah. yeah beautiful. Um, but that was a few months ago, so I don't know. They said they will take a boat all the way to Cuba. Oh, that would be great. Shall we do our quick reveal? Pow! Crazy fun. We're going to go put the railroad spikes in the cannon. He's going to do a shotgun. <laughs> it's gonna be shot a cannon shotgun. All right, Patty, ready? Fire in the hole! Yeah! <laughs> 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 flying circus delivered on the flying, the food, flames, the fireworks, firearms, and music, music, music. <laughs> this is the old man of the sky saying, Love, laugh, live. I'll probably pack up and go. But it was good flying with you. It's been a blast. That's all, folks.